What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an amazing new generator built on geometry nodes that creates moving rivers in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you're active on Twitter at all in the Blender space, you might've seen this add-on that generates these amazing procedural rivers from uh, Spec Kular or Shazan Boyhonov. I hope I said that right. But basically what this is, is, this is a tool that will generate these rivers based on a curve inside of the 3D space. And so you could download this through the Blender market, and I will link to this in the notes down below. It is a $10 purchase, but it is a pretty cool geometry node setup. And so when you get it, what it's gonna look like is it's gonna look something like this. And so if I was to click play with EV active and my materials turned on, notice how this is actually doing like a real time foam and river generation based on a path inside a blender. So there's a couple different modes that you have. So there's a mode to create a river along a curve. And then there's also a mode to create a river along a surface. So let's say we were to add a surface. So something like this, and then we're going to add a curve. So I'm just going to do a shift A. I'm going to add a Bezier curve. Then I'm going to tab in here and I'm going to delete out these vertices. And I'm going to use the draw tool in order to just draw a curve where I would like for this to go. Now, one thing to note about this is usually I try to stop it before we hit the end of the surface. Otherwise, you run into some issues, which we can talk about in a minute. But basically what you need to do now is you need to take this surface Right, so not the curve, but the surface itself. And you can move this spline up a little bit if you want to. Um, but if we go in here and we add a modifier to the surface, we wanna add a geometry nodes modifier. And in this case, we wanna find the river on ground right here. And so that hasn't done anything yet. So what we wanna do is we want to give it a curve object to use in order to create your river. So in this case, it's just gonna be this Bezier curve 001, right, that I just created. And so when we do that, what that's going to do is that's going to generate a river on your surface right here. And so you can adjust some things about this, like the scale, for example. So you can adjust how wide this is, as well as how fast the river is going to go. And so it doesn't look very good yet, but it will in a second. Um, one thing I've noticed about this, and uh, we also want to specify the rock collection. So this rock collection comes along with this, if you unhide it, so if you check this little box right here, you can actually see the rocks that it's using and you could also add your own. Um, you are gonna need a collection in there for it to generate those rocks. Now, one thing you might have noticed though is this doesn't really look very good on the surface. And so what I found is the material behind this river makes a huge difference on the way that it looks, right? So if we look at this one over here, he's got this kind of like detailed ground material. I'm just gonna drop that on this surface just so you can kind of see what it does. Um, but you could use your own material as well. Just notice that if you don't have like a darker material behind this, because this is kind of see-through, your river is not going to look very good. So you do need to make sure that you've applied that darker material in here. So a couple other things to note. So first off, you don't want your curve to move beyond your surface. So notice how when I do that, I start getting issues in here. It's not sure where to place those rocks, for example, or where to map the texture. So you do want to kind of make sure that you keep those inside of the actual surface itself. And so if you just want to generate a curve just kind of along, or if you just want to generate a river along a curve and you don't really want to worry about a surface, you can also add your own curve like this. But then instead of applying, but instead of applying the geometry node setup to the surface, if you just want to use a curve and you're not really worried about a surface, you can go in here and you can add the modifier um, for geometry nodes. And in this case, you just want river from curve rather than river on ground. And so if you do that, that's going to generate this river based on that curve rather than the ground itself. You can apply this rock collection to this. You can adjust things like the scale. You can adjust the density of rocks in the surface as well. And you can also randomize that. Um, and then if you wanna bring this in to another file, so let's say I started a new Blender file, right? So something like this, and let's say I wanted to bring that in here. And so let's say I wanted to bring that in here, right? Let's say I had another curve. So I'm just gonna do a shift A, add a curve. Let's say I wanted to create a river along this curve, right? Well, all you need to do is you just need to do a file append and you just wanna go find, and you just wanna go find that file. And then you wanna go into the node tree and you wanna bring in, in this case, we would bring in the river from curve, right? So it's gonna append that. And when it appends that, it's gonna bring in your rock collection as well as those geometry node setups. So I'm gonna to toggle this rock collection off. But then now, 
because I appended that, if I add that modifier, right, notice how river from curve is now in here and it's gonna apply that to this surface right here. And you do need to make sure that you apply that rock collection in here. But you can use this in order to set this up in other Blender files as well. When I click on play, the river is gonna run just like this, really easy. So obviously for this to work in real time, it needs to be an EV. I think you might be able to render a frame by frame in cycles. I haven't really tested it, but I'm using it more as an EV only tool, but feel free to test it in cycles if you want to. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this Geometry Node setup. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.